Hey, welcome to another episode of the Not Scrum Done podcast. I'm your co-host, Adriana Marshall, and that's my amazing co-host. Professor Scott, greetings, everyone. So today we're going to be answering a subscriber question. So if you'd like to send us an email, reach out to us on LinkedIn or in the comment section, ask your question, we will answer and also create a video off of it. So the question that we have today is, what is the difference between self-management and self-organization? Why did the 2020 version of the Scrum Guide change it? So just to give you a little bit of a definition, in the Scrum Guide 2017, it describes self-organizing teams as those who choose how best to accomplish their work rather than being directed by others outside the team. The 2020 Scrum Guide describes a self-managing team as meaning they internally decide who does what, when, and how. Now, both of these descriptions do apply to the Scrum team as a whole. Scott, do you want to dive a little deeper on this one for us? Under honor, I'd be happy to. As you was giving those definitions that I had, the image come to my mind. I was thinking about when I was younger, I used to play this game called kickball. I'm thinking right now, visualizing if I take a kickball, a soccer ball, whatever you're visualizing in your mind, throw it in a bunch of kids that are, let's say, seven years old and younger, they will have the mental capacity to self-organize and figure out who needs to kick the ball first. However, they don't have the ability to fire other children, to hire other children, or to determine who's going to join the team or not. They don't have that power. So when I think of self-organizing versus self-managing, self-managing is taking it up a notch. It's okay, we want to empower the Swamp teams even more than just having the ability to self-organize to do the work. How cool would it be that if we need somebody on our team, maybe we go bridge the gap, the impediment with human resources and say, hey, human resources, can you come on our team and we write the job description We because we have the specific need. We as the Swamp team know what the need here. I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen, y'all have seen a job description where it looks like they just copied the, the scrum guide word for word, put it in the job description and say, here we go. Or scrum master. What if the team needed a scrum master and product owner and developers got together and said, hey, we're missing a scrum master. And these are the characteristics. These are the qualities that we want. Yes, looking at the scrum guide and all the 12 accountability, but we want something else other than these things for the scrum master to have. And then we as a scrum team go to HR and say, hey, look, okay, this is what we wrote. This is what we want you to post. And then when you screen this person, let us interview this person, self-management. Then let us have the ultimate decision whether or not we're going to hire this person. Yes, we understand HR, we're working together. You're going to have to do the paperwork and all that stuff to make sure we're legally doing things right in terms of hiring a person. And I'm also thinking on the reverse side of that, what if we got a team member that we don't like? Back in self-organizing Scrum Guide, the team wasn't empowered to make that decision to fire somebody. What self-managing means now, hey, how about we get together as a Scrum team and decide if that person needs to be on this team or not? We as a team are going to decide that. So those are just a few things I think about in terms of the differences in self-organizing versus self-managing. Andreano. Yeah, I think that example brings a lot of clarity also give a little bit more in regards to the scrum guide self-management includes what work to do and when to do it so that is a little bit further than being self-organizing i also think it just provides a little bit more clarity when it comes to what a scrum team is supposed to be in control of so i think that's why there were some changes to the scrum guide from self-managing to self-organizing it's beyond just organizing this stuff but now you're managing it as a whole which i think you've already laid out for us so now you understand the difference between self-managing and self-organization and you got a great example from scott thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like button and also subscribe to get more content like this you can join our newsletter to get exclusives and if you made it to the end of this video, that means you have an attention span greater than a goldfish. Be legendary, everyone, but not scrub down. We'll see you in the next episode.